I thought I might make a video showing what it is I use to play DCS and even Microsoft Flight Simulator, the things that I've built and how I built them in case anyone's interested or gets an idea from what I've done. I figured I would show it off. I use a Verpal um, throttle, CM3 throttle, and I have the VKB MCG Ultimate flight stick. I've got the Turtle Beach rudder pedals. I've got three of the Thrustmaster Cougar MFDs, and then I've built an extension on the throttle. And I have a macro keyboard I use to kind of be a miniature UFC um, on the right above the mouse. That's actually something I built from Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's attached to my um, mouse pad mount thing. Um, all my mounts come from Monster Tech, and I even have a butt kicker for vibrating the seat. Now, I have a 34-inch ultra-wide, but I've basically gone to VR in the last nine months or so, and it's kind of hard to come back from that. Um, but all of this is here, and I can basically set it up in just a matter of minutes and take it down because it's also my home office here, and I need my regular desk at the same time. So let me uh, show you what I use, and then I'll show you what I'm doing to upgrade it, um, and maybe you could use these ideas as well. So first off, my current setup is done using DCS BIOS. So I've been flying using the F-18, and so I kind of customized my thing here. This is the A-10 logo for the Maryland National Guard, which is near where I live. I grew up watching them fly overhead all the time, so that's how I've been interested in this kind of thing since being younger. But the one limitation that I have with DCS BIOS is that if I want to use other modules, you know, I'd have to like reprogram my boards using Arduino boards. And so this is kind of specific to the F-18 and I wanted to make something that would be just like a joystick control box like you can get from Verpal, uh, make it VR friendly and um, be able to program it for anything, any of the modules, even use it in other flight simulators outside of DCS. So this is pretty cool though because I basically didn't worry about the layout of the cockpit matching in VR. I found I just preferred easy left-hand access um, to buttons. So my first go round at it, you know, I just went ahead and make, made this kind of like the light panel for the most part over here. I've got the um, exterior lights, the interior console and so forth. And then after the fact, I was like, you know what? I need some more things. I got the wing fold and the lock here. This is the probe and the fuel dump. And I even snuck on the side, if we can see over here, ended up adding those later too. This is the canopy switch. And this is um, for changing the barometric pressure, you know, for altitude. I ended up putting a rotary encoder in there and uh, it works really well. Uh, I also added later on this little extension and they, they all attach to my to the Monster Tech mount, I'll have to show you uh, when I take it apart. This is kind of like, you know, the hook is an extended toggle, and then I have kind of, you know, the three most common um, switches there on the left from the F-18, air to ground, master arm. Uh, these ended up becoming camera buttons and paws, that's why that was missing, so it feels different. I'm going everything for tactile feel. Um, some of this I don't use very often. You know, I end up clicking the cockpit inside the, the VR headset. But it is really cool to have when I wasn't flying in VR. This was great. You know, I got the jettison button. This is a, I'll show you, I custom built a, a toggle switch onto one of these uh, push buttons that I found on Amazon. Um, and, you know, your jettison locations, the HMD. And this is my landing gear, which I had a knob attached to it. But I found hitting afterburner, I was, it was getting in the way, so I had to make it smaller. I think in my next rendition, I'm not going to put the landing gear there. Um, but yeah, the other great part of this is these macro keyboards. You can see I have tactile little buttons on there. So I can do it by feel. Muscle memory kicks in after a while, but this is nice as the buttons of the USC and the, the comms changing and so forth. So most of what I need, I basically have... 
uh, binded to all of this. It works out pretty well. But like I said, I want to I want to make it into something that's more universal. Um, so let me show you what my plans are. I've already gotten started. And maybe I'll take you along on the journey if anyone's interested in how I built this. And let me show you how I built this. Um, I'm basically I'm using very thin plywood. It is quarter inch plywood. I mean, I basically like to use wood. It's really thin. Um, pretty easy to work with for the most part. I've also made some things using this thinner ABS plastic. Uh, the texture is okay. I don't mind it. Um, this smooth side always has a lot of scratches on it and so forth. But um, I'm going to be using this to make a Microsoft Flight Simulator panel. Uh, the advantage to this, it's, um, it's an eighth inch, so it's much easier to, to panel mount a lot of the switches that are built for eighth inch when I have to kind of really be a little finicky to get them on the quarter inch plywood. But you can see how I've got it attached to the Monster Tech mount. These holes here, I took the Verpal and opened it up and put some screws inside so that I can just kind of drop it on there. It makes it a lot easier if I ever have to switch or work on it. I originally thought maybe I would have different panels, but I've since decided that, you know, I'm gonna make one panel that is not Arduino based using DCS BIOS. And instead I'm gonna use these Leo Bodner boards, which basically turn things into a joystick. So this one has um, spots for hat. It's got things for, uh, potentiometers, and then of course, lots of buttons or encoders. So I'm gonna use this one. Um, I also have the version that's a 32 button box. This one doesn't have the hat switch or the potentiometers, but I'm gonna end up using both of these. And I've already started designing it. VR friendly, no labels, not specific to anything, kinda mainstream some of my ideas i'll have potentiometers for different light switches and things and it's all about the layout for me now so i have switches and buttons you know it's like so that they're spaced out differently easy to find when you're under the headset um, i kind of kept some of the concepts for you know selective jettison emergency jettison hmd but i went ahead and put the Put the um, landing gear over here. I bought a little on Etsy. These are actually really great. I'll have to show you those uh, extensions for the toggle switches. So that'll mount there. And then I went ahead and I'm going to do a little bit of a larger top panel. Some of it the same layout, but give me a few more options for buttons. And then the little keyboard I had, a little five key keyboard, I'm going to do away with that. I don't really find it to be necessary. Um, and I can program in the cameras a different way. So this is where I'm headed and it'll all be, you know, just a joystick when you plug it in. So you can assign the keys and DCS based on the module and it's not going to be specific to each one. And that's where I'm headed. Um, I'll show you some of the knobs, the toggle switches I use, the buttons and things that I found to be best maybe in the next video if anyone is interested.